In question seven, you're told that the top 1,400 professional tennis players are ranked in terms of their winnings. Part A, approximately how many of these ranked below the 30th percentile. So remember that the 30th percentile says that 30% of the data is below this observation. So question A, how many people are below the 30th percentile is the same thing as asking what is 30% of 1,400. Question B, says approximately what percentile corresponds to the player who is 30th from the top winner. So in this problem, uh, player number 1400 would be the, the top winner. Number one would be the, the lowest in terms of winnings. 30 from the top would be number 1370. That's just 1400 minus 30. And you can always figure out a percentile um, by doing the number of people below this observation divided by the total. So the number of people below will be 1,370, and the total, again, is 1,400. For question C, approximately how many of these players ranked above the 49th percentile? So now we're asking above instead of below. If we do this, 0 0.49 times 1,400, that's going to give us 686, which means that there are 686 players below the 49th percentile. But the question is asking how many are above the 49th percentile. So it's just what's left.